Hey everyone, welcome to Gentle PSD. I hope you're all having an amazing day. Today in this exciting tutorial we will be learning about how to create rolling end movie credits in After Effects. But before we start it, I want to thank Ail Senor for donating $15 on Patreon. It makes me happier than ever, knowing that people sending their hard-earned money to support my work. If you also want to support me, please kindly go to my Patreon page. You will receive my project files. Link is in the description. Now let's take a look at what we are going to create. That looks super awesome, before we begin make sure to hit the subscribe button and bell icon for more amazing tutorials like this. Without any further ado let's begin. Create a new composition, I will name it as main comp. We will change the height to 9000 pixels, for our rolling credits. 30 frames, duration is 1 minute and click OK. Now we created the composition for our credits. We have to type our credits, but doing it in After Effects is big cumbersome work and will waste you lot of time. Please use Word document or notepad to type your end credits before you begin to work on this process. I have already typed the end credits in the notepad. Here I have the credits from start to finish. First I will copy the main credits by selecting and right click to copy it and go to After Effects. Take the text tool click it here, then press Ctrl V to paste it. Go to Paragraph tab and click on the center alignment. To form it like this, place it in the center. Go to Character tab and play with the text size shape, and spacings between the titles. Press Ctrl Alt Home on your keyboard to bring the anchor point to the center. That looks good. Once you satisfied with it, then go to Notepad and copy the cast credits. Take the text tool and make sure that no layer is selected. Click here then paste it by pressing Ctrl V. Press V to bring the move tool and again press Ctrl Alt Home to bring the anchor point to the center. We will align the cast list. Go to paragraph tab and this time we will click on the left side alignment. That looks good. Place it here. Press Ctrl T to bring the text tool and type in, cast. Align it in the center. There are some errors but we will fix it now. That looks better. Place it little to the left. Before we paste the other side of the credits I just want you to know that these or just random name it does not represent anything. But you have to make sure that you type everything correct, 
and know that the fictional name should be in the left and actual name in the right. Copy the actual name and take the text tool. Press Ctrl V to paste it. Align it to the right. Again align it with the left characters using Move tool. Like this. Please make sure that the fictional name should be in the light font, we will change it to light font, that looks better. We will align it once again to make it look perfect. Once you satisfied with it, then we will move to the next stage. Select the cast credits layer and right click on it then select pre-compose. I will name it as cast credits. Select the main credits and align it with the cast. That looks perfect. Create a new composition by clicking this icon. I will change the height to 1080 pixels and name it as end credits. We will leave the other settings as it is click OK. Now take the main comp composition in the project panel and drag it to end credits like this. Press P to bring the position and bring the credits down like this. Bring it over here. Make sure the indicator is at the beginning. Now keyframe the position take the indicator to 55th second. Bring the end of the credits. Like this. Stop it right after the credits disappear from the composition. Now right click here and create a new solid. I will name it as BG click OK. Go to effects and presets panel type in gradient. Take the gradient ramp and place it on the BG layer. In the effects control panel we will use some dark purple as start color and darker purple for end color. Keep changing it until you satisfy with it. That looks good. Now place the BG layer below the main comp. Let's play it. It looks little fast we will decrease its speed by dragging this keyframe to right. It's perfect. Now if we let it like this, it will look plain and simple. But we will add some arts that will complement the movie and its story. So let's add some animal arts to it and animate it to make it look more dynamic. We will now import our stock photos to our project panel like this. Place the first stock photo below our main comp layer. Change the blend mode to soft light. Now that looks more of a background and it won't interfere with our credits text. Now we will animate the reveal effect. Take the shape tool and make a shape covering the animal like this. I will name it as stock one mat. And place it above our stock one layer. Change the mat of the stock one layer to alpha mat. Now our animal art stock photo will only be visible on our mat layer. Place the indicator at 5 seconds and press P to bring the position of mat layer. Keyframe it. Bring it down like this. Drag the indicator little to the right and bring the mat back to its place. Let's play it. That looks little slow, 
We will increase its speed by dragging this keyframe to left like this. Now place the indicator after 6 seconds duration and keyframe it. Take it little to the right and bring down the mat. We will now add our second animal art. Place the stock 2 photo below our stock 1 layer. Change the blend mode to soft light again. Press V to bring the move tool and move it to the right. Now take the pen tool and make sure that no layer is selected. Make a shape like this. By doing this we'll create a new shape layer. I will name it as stock 2 mat. Place it above stock 2 layer. Bring down the shape like this. We will animate its transition. Change the mat option of stock 2 layer to alpha mat. Select stock 2 mat and press P to bring the position. Keyframe it and drag the keyframe where the first photo is about to fade. Take the indicate a little to the right and bring the shape layer above until our animal art reveals complete. Let's play it. That looks good. Now place the indicator 6 second duration and press D to bring the opacity. Keyframe it and drag the indicator little to the right then change the opacity to 0%. That looks better. Now we will import the stock photo 3 and place it below our stock 2 layer. Place the indicator right where our second animal art about to fade. Purse P to bring the position and place it in the left. Change the blend mode to soft light again. Press T and keyframe the opacity and change it to 0%. Bring the indicator a little to the right and change the opacity back to 100. Take the time indicator to 5 second gap duration and keyframe the opacity again. Move it little to the right and bring the opacity to 0%. This will give us that fade in and fade out effect. We will do the same to stock for art. After you finished animating your background, right click here and create new adjustment layer. Place the adjustment layer below our main comp layer. In the effects presets panel type in curves. Place the curve effect on our adjustment layer. We will increase the brightness a little. That looks good. Now select all the layers and pre-compose it. I will name it as end credits main. We will add the fade in and out effect for the beginning and the end. Take the work area handle and bring it where our end keyframe is. Right click on it and select trim comp to work area. This will remove the unwanted remaining timeline. Now let's play it.
that's it, that's how you create a movie end credits. I have only shown one simple type, if you put your hard work in it, you will get more dynamic effect. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you have any doubt please feel free to comment in the comment section, I will reply to it as soon as I can. Hit the subscribe button for more amazing tutorials like this, hit the like button if you like this video, until our next tutorial stay happy, thank you.